Hey guys, it's me Sylvia back with another video. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be taking another look at my very first YouTube video, which happened to be a makeup tutorial and I'm going to be trying to recreate that makeup tutorial for you guys. You might have seen that I recently did a reaction to this video and I had watched it all. I cringed the entire way through and I did that for you guys for my 1 million milestone video. I will link it in the description if you really want to see me reacting to the whole thing. I did get emotional, but most of the time I was just cringing because it's really embarrassing when you look at like an old video and you've changed so much you know this video was posted over two years ago so trust me a lot has changed from my taste in makeup and my skills in makeup to just like where I am in life and the products that I have access to now versus what I really had to work with back then and I just thought it'd be really cool to kind of compare and do my makeup with mostly the same products but just doing it with what I know now make sure you subscribe to my channel if you're not yet subscribed it's never too late to subscribe you know you could have subscribed two years ago but better late than never almost at 1.5 million subscribers so that would be really really cool to hit join my ass club down below hit the subscribe button it's all you gotta do and without further ado let's get on with this video by the way if you hear some weird growling or noises in the background like that if you heard that Prince is playing with Wolfie Jr. and he makes the weirdest sounds when he plays he sounds like he's a crazed like alien jeez Prince calm down so I started it with a primer. Good job, Sylvia, for knowing you gotta use a primer. And I used the Rimmel London Fix and Perfect Pro primer. I totally stand by that primer, even to this day. The scent gives me so many memories because I used it for so long. Back then, I honestly did not even know the difference between primers. I knew you had to use a primer for makeup, but I didn't know you should use one that's more catered to your specific skin needs. So as the years went on, I did learn that. And I have oily skin with really large pores. So nowadays, I'll more lean towards something like the Smash box photo finish foundation primer which is oil free it also blurs fine lines and pores which is great for my skin type and you guys also know that I absolutely love the Laure Garlain primer I always feel like I sound so ridiculous when I say the name of this but anyways this is really really pricey I definitely would never have been able to afford this back then but I'm totally in love with it right now just because it does so much for my skin by soaking up like any dry acne spots that I usually get and also helps to control my oil while still making my foundation sit so nicely on top of it so the fact that I can use a product like this that is so high-end back then I would have never have dreamed of even spending that much on a primer because I didn't even know what it really could do for you you know so after the primer I went in with foundation and I ended up mixing the two most full coverage foundations of like all time the Kat Von D lock it tattoo foundation and also Mac pro longwear foundation I do have a Mac studio fix fluid which I did used to use a lot so I did use a beauty sponge in the video but it was a really affordable beauty sponge from the drugstore this is a beauty blender that I'm using right now so it's a little more expensive blends in so much nicer especially since I was using such full coverage foundations like you need to blend that really good making sure to blend well along the hairline and jawline to keep a natural look <laughs> by that I meant so you don't have a mask of foundation like I wasn't completely oblivious but I feel like most of what I was saying is because that's what I heard other people saying like I didn't really know what I was talking about I have the two biggest scabs of all time on my face that's what I get for picking I'm the worst, you guys. I'm the absolute worst. And just to cover up my acne and fill in the texture on my forehead, I'm gonna use Max Studio Fix Powder Foundation. It just gives me a lot more extra coverage and the powder kind of fills in that texture on my forehead and helps to cover up acne and also completely mattifies it because I don't like any sort of like shine on my forehead since that just accentuates my bad skin. The dip in my upper lip. The I'm dip in my upper lip. lip. Call the Cupid's bow, Sylvia, come on. Clearly my vocabulary has improved since then too. Every time I look at this video, I want to punch myself in the face. I do still have the Prep and Prime MAC stick. I was obsessed with this. It was like a new makeup product that I had and I used it every chance I could because it was new to me and I loved it. And honestly, it is a good product. I feel like it's not completely necessary all the time. It might be nice for like touching up or if you don't like a very heavy concealer, you could use this instead. I guess I just was using it to cream highlight in all the places where I would normally just use concealer now. Keep its bow, the dip in my upper lip. So you see it does brighten, but it's very, very light, light coverage. So that's good if you're like the type that likes a no makeup makeup look, but 
I'm not that type, so. Max Pro Longwear Concealer in NC20. I have it right here. Such an OG concealer and I haven't used it in so long because it's just my job to try out like new products that are coming out. So I feel like I'm always trying something new, but this is an OG. I honestly still really like this concealer and I, I'm gonna keep it on my desk so I use it a little bit more often because it's so good. In the video, I was using my fingers to blend out my concealer and apply it. And lucky me, now I have a ton of brushes, a ton of tools to help me do my concealer and really anything else that I want to do. But I'm just gonna blend that out with my beauty blender and just really make sure it's nice and blended into my foundation. I also ran the concealer all over my eyelid, kind of as an eyeshadow primer, I guess. I don't know if I didn't really know what an eyeshadow primer was because I didn't use one in the video. But now I cannot go on with an eyeshadow look without using something to prime my lid. So I'm using Soft Ochre from MAC all over my lid using a brush. I mean, I could use my fingers like I did in the video, but I got nails now and didn't have those back then. Then I moved on to brows and back then I just used what I had and what I had was an eye pencil. So I literally used this Quo or Q-U-O. I still to this day do not know how to pronounce this brand. Anyways, I used this for everything. I used it to fill in my beauty marks. I used it for my brows, my eyes, a lip pencil if I needed a brown. I just used this for absolutely everything. It's a really dark brown and I like to go for a little bit of a lighter brow these days. In the video, I actually used the end of the Quo pencil to smudge it out. And what I did was I washed off all of the sparkly product on here and then I would use the clean sponge to smudge out the product which I thought worked for me it did make my brows really harsh looking so I definitely would not do that today so I'm gonna use my Urban Decay brow beater pencil which is what I now currently use it's got a way finer tip on the end it has an actual spoolie brush on the end to brush it out also now I changed my brow technique up a lot I will extend my brow forward because I don't like how short my brows are and I will imitate little fake hairs at the beginning here so instead of using that sponge on the end a way more effective way to brush out your brows would be with a spoolie brush of some sort so after doing my brows I would go in with my highlighting pencil and just completely outline the entire brow and now I really don't like to do that it makes them way too like bam in your face and my brows are really strong to begin with this is probably the most embarrassing part of the video for me other than my horrifying voiceover voice I just casually was using mascara to set my eyebrows now it is unconventional but I'm not gonna lie I'm pretty sure I've recommended you do this as like an eyebrow hack before in one of my other videos most mascaras are black at least the one I was using this video was black so that's just gonna give you a really harsh super thick brow so I don't do that anymore I I use an actual clear brow gel. I'm just gonna apply my nice clear brow gel. And brows are done. <laughs> the little brow thing I did. Uh, cringing, cringing, cringing. So I had like my, the basic understanding of contouring. I was using Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. I used the Sephora like sample that I got one time for so long, every single day. I used it until all the wrapping peeled off of it, until it hit pan. I love that bronzer so much, but I just couldn't afford to rebuy it and actually get the full size version of it. In the video to apply this, I'm actually using a broken face brush and just squeezing it with my fingers to try and make it like more of a contour brush because I didn't have one. It was literally just like the top part here because the handle had broken off. So we're gonna use the Chocolate Soleil in light medium. And now I have this beautiful contouring brush from IT Cosmetics. I did have the placement right though. Been bronze and right since day one, people. Hollows of the cheeks, forehead, temples. You can do your jawline if you wanna chisel that down. So after bronzing, I went straight into the eyes, but I'm not gonna do that just yet. I'm gonna actually use a blush. I don't know why I didn't use a blush in the tutorial. I know for a fact that I wore the shade Melba from MAC like every single day but I couldn't find that in my drawers I do have blush baby which is very similar and I use this one pretty often as well so I'm gonna just go for that one and apply that just above where we bronzed and it's actually such a beautiful shade I still to this day really love MAC blushes that is just so beautiful I just thought a translucent powder was a translucent powder but no the MAC translucent powder if you guys watched my video on makeup products I hate I'll put the card right here if you want to watch it it gives you insane flashback your face will look white in pictures so now I love to use the Laura Mercier translucent powder this is my holy grail I'm gonna use this to bake my under eye until we're done the eyeshadow look I'm gonna also cut the contour 
So this I'm gonna dust off right away because I don't want it to be too dramatic of like a cut. So now moving on to our eyes. I still have the Naked palette that I used in this video. It's been so long since I've touched it. This is one of the very first high-end palettes that I bought for myself. I think it's good still. I don't know, powders take a long time to go bad, I guess. I'm gonna just spray my brush with Fix Plus. We're gonna actually use that to give us a brow bone highlight. Go in with that same shade as an inner corner highlight. Now this shade is like a really icy blinding shade so it's really good for highlighting now believe it or not for my crease color I used a shimmer a shimmery shadow what I would never use a shimmery shade in my crease or anywhere where I kind of have like a hollow in my eye just because naturally that's where your eye is sh like in the shadows so putting something with a shimmer there isn't really like natural looking you know it doesn't really look great so now I'm gonna go in with naked which is this brown kind of gray taupey shade and in the video I used the brush from the palette which there's nothing wrong with that but now I'm usually not really a fan of brushes that come in palettes because they're not usually made with the same quality as like single brushes brushes but back then it was good enough for me so the next color I went in with in the video was hustle which is like this deep deep shimmery shade using it on the outer corner is probably not the best placement so I'm gonna go in with buck I'm gonna pat that on my outer V so this is still gonna deepen it up and give us that smoky eye but it's just kind of a better shade and matte works a lot nicer in this area of the eye now I'm gonna spray my brush a small detailing brush to take the shade sin and I'm gonna place that on my inner lip I had the right idea in the video to use, you know, a shimmery light color all over the lid, but it just takes practice to get better at creating an overall look. Like I wasn't great at blending. I didn't really know what color went where. And then I will use roasted, but instead of on the crease, I'm going to use it right on the center of my eyelid. Just because it's a little bit of a darker pink than the one we used on the inner corner here. So it'll give us a nice ombre look. And since it's shimmery, it works better on the eyelid instead of in the crease because it'll catch the light. And and bring your eyes forward and make them look bigger and better baby now for my under eye in the video I use the back of this little eye pencil that I used for absolutely everything I'm gonna first go in with the shade that we used for our crease and that's gonna help to balance out our under eye smoke it out just like we did the top and make it a lot softer than it would be if you were to go in with that pencil like I did I am gonna use this eye pencil I'm gonna just run that underneath my eye exactly like I did in the video but I'm just gonna smudge it out with a pencil brush now in the video I said putting this on your waterline brought out my hazel eyes but that is not true putting a dark shade on the waterline when you already have small eyes is actually gonna close your eyes up so if you do want your eyes to look bigger using like a nude shade eyeliner on your waterline would help with that don't listen to old sylvia listen to new sylvia new sylvia kind of knows what she's talking about then again who knows two years from now i might be recreating this video i'm gonna go in with hustle and a little bit of creep which are both shimmery shades i prefer a matte shade for this but we're gonna stick with the og palette place that right on my outer lash line there and smoke it up so now time for eyeliner. I used the Stila waterproof eyeliner in the video. That eyeliner is still a really great product. My roommate's mom worked for Stila. My roommate would always give it to me at a discount and I definitely couldn't have afforded it at full price. So I really was proud to own this eyeliner. This is the Hourglass liner. It's still a pencil liner because I'm trying to keep it true to the video, but I just don't have the Stila one anymore and I don't know why, because it's a good liner. Next up is mascara. I just use a regular CoverGirl mascara. I'm gonna be using Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara because this is my current face. Favorite. Now I didn't use any false lashes in the video back then I really never wore any false lashes But now I wear them all the time especially when I'm doing a full glam smoky eye So I'm gonna be using house of lashes iconic light falsies. Those are one of my favorites right now now for highlight I was using soft and gentle from Mac and I still really really love this highlight I was using like this giant foundation paddle brush and I applied it like all over the apples of my cheeks upwards You want your highlight to be sitting right on the top of your cheekbones not where you would put your blush I basically used it as a blush it's gotten a lot of love this is the honey love lipstick and I'm gonna use it with strip down lip pencil which is my favorite new lip pencil so this is the finished look, the new and improved makeup look that I did a tutorial on two years ago. I have to say, I think it's a little bit better. What do you guys think? Comment down below. And this was just a really cool experience to do. I hope you guys enjoyed the video too. And if you did, you know what to do. Give me a big thumbs up so I know. Subscribe to my channel if you're not yet subscribed. All you have to do is click the box in the corner of the screen right over there. And if you missed my last upload, watch it by clicking the box down below. I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.